Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. You can get raw comics. They specialize in lots of 10. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. They also specialize in CGC pre-orders. And another great thing, they have no sales tax unless you live in New Jersey. Sorry guys, forget about it. But no sales tax, lots of 10, CGC Comics, popculturezone.com. Now on to the video. What is going on guys? It's Brian with Superman's Comics back once again to give you my picks for comic books that are hitting final order cutoff this coming Monday night. We have some great picks this week. Not going to waste a lot of time. We're going to get right into it starting with those books from Image Comics. We get that big book from actress Amelia Clark. That's right. Let's hope this is better than season six of Game of Thrones. But we get Mothers of Madness. This has been an anticipated book. It's got a lot of publicity. Image Comics, Amelia Clark, so you know it's going to be talked about. And it's got a bunch of great covers for it. We got Jim Bartel covers. We have some incentive covers. We have 1 in 10s, 1 in 25 ratios. We have a 1 in 50 incentive as well. No doubt a lot of people are aware of this, but if you want to get your order in, it is hitting Final Order Cutoff this coming Monday night. That's right. As I always say, Get your order in, secure your copy, get hold of those incentives, whether it's through your LCS, whether you're ordering online, but that way you'll have that copy guaranteed and won't be chasing it or any of the other books to talk about in this video on release day. Also from Image Comics, we get Siphon number one. This is number one of three issues. It's about an EMT that is able to siphon pain from victims and when I hear EMT, I think of good friend of the channel and huge comic book artist in Kanto, good buddy Drew Zucker. Either way, this is going to be a three-issue miniseries. One thing I did notice that was different this time is Diamond or Previews is actually soliciting store exclusive variants within that Previews catalog. I haven't seen this before. I don't know if this is something new. I don't know if it's something just for Image Comics, but either way, it's something to take note of. It's another way for retailers to get their exclusive copies into the hands of readers. Another book coming from Image Comics, specifically that Skybound imprint. We all know about Walking Dead Deluxe, talked about some of those issues on this channel, talked about those Reposa Connected variants, talked about the David Finch second print variants, but here we are getting that Walking Dead Deluxe issue number 19. If you're a Walking Dead fan, you know issue number 19 is a big key first appearance. You get that first appearance of Michonne. And if you missed that opportunity to pick it up on the first time around with Walking Dead, here's your chance to get it again. No doubt, Image and Skybound has a bunch of covers for this. But there's some great artists on here. You have your, your normal cover artists that have been working on this series like Tedesco, David Finch. Charlie Adlard, but then you're also getting a couple other artists. You get Rob Liefeld and a few other artists as well. So once again, Walking Dead Deluxe, number 19. I was a critic when this series first got printed. I was like, oh my gosh, it's a money grab, but it's been great to read this series in color and you're getting some amazing cover art on some of these variants as well. So I'm gonna pick this one up, add it to that Walking Dead number 19 first print and put it in my collection. Getting over to Marvel, we get Miles Morales Spider-Man number 28. This brings us to the conclusion of that current clone saga. And they are saying you do not want to miss this heart-wrenching conclusion of the year. Of course, they say that about pretty much all the books. Either way, fan of Miles Morales, I've been really enjoying the clone saga. Looking forward to the next arc. So I'm adding this one to my collection. And also from Marvel, this seems to be their big release, hitting this final order cutoff. But we get the return of Moon Knight and Moon Knight number one. Yes, we do know there's a Moon Knight show currently in development. There's been casting for it, and people are excited about Moon Knight. And if you're not a fan of Moon Knight, issue number one always provides a great jumping on point. And you're going to have some choices to make, because as Marvel does, especially with issue number one, they have a lot of covers, and they're by some banger artists. I mean, you got Del Otto out there. You got... Safino. Of course, you're going to get a Scotty Young baby variant. You're going to get John Romita Jr. You got Kyle Hotz. 
One artist that I haven't noticed for these covers, without I wish they would have grabbed hold of, because he's probably one of the best Moon Knight cover artists out there, and that is Bill Sienkiewicz. Unless I've overlooked it, I don't see a cover for here, and I'm sure that there will be a lot of store exclusives variants for this as well. One of them that I cannot show the cover for, but I will promise you it is a great homage cover if you're a Moon Knight fan, and it is actually going to be a convention exclusive. That's right, we're getting the return of comic conventions, people getting back, hunting in long and short boxes, nestling up, getting elbow to elbow to each other, searching through a box while another person tries to search through the same box as you at the same darn time. Don't you just love that? But either way, Friends of the Channel, The 616 Comics, is going to have a terrific con. That's right, if you're up there in Connecticut, terrific con's coming up. They are going to have an exclusive convention variant for Moon Knight number one, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Sticking with Marvel and, of course, digging into Star Wars. We do know that Star Wars has War of the Bounty Hunters, but here we're getting kind of a tie-in series to that where we get War of the Bounty Hunters. This is concentrating on Jabba the Hutt himself. He is mad at Boba Fett, that's for sure. He's going after Boba Fett, and we're going to see it play out over five issues, but issue number one is hitting final cutoff this Monday night. There are some great covers for it. I haven't seen incentives for this as yet, but I'm actually a fan of just the cover A. I like the cover A, but either way, Return of the Jedi, if you're a Jabba the Hutt fan, this is probably one series, five issues long. It won't take you too long to read it or collect it. But Star Wars fans, Jabba the Hutt fans, this is definitely something you might be interested in. Moving over to Boom Studios, we get Dark Blood number one. This is the first issue of a new series. And in this series, we have Avery Aldridge, ordinary black man, World War II veteran, back in Alabama, 1955. Just a guy trying to get by, providing for his wife and daughter. But the thing is, it turns out, we find out he isn't actually that ordinary. And he ends up discovering secret abilities and becomes more powerful than he can ever dreamed of. This is written by Latoya Morgan, who TV screenwriter has written for AMC for The Walking Dead and Into the Badlands with Walt Barna on art. And the solicit states, if you are a fan of Department of Truth or Bitterroot, this is a series that you will definitely be interested in. From DC Comics, one of my favorite series right now. Yes, I do like James Tynan's Batman, but there's a series I like even more, and that is because Tom Taylor keeps talking about it in this video series and other videos on my channel. Tom Taylor is a superstar comic book writer and Nightwing number 82 hits FOC. But remember DC's final order cutoff is actually Sunday, not Monday night. So you wanna make sure you get your orders in a day earlier, whether it's through your LCS, whether it's through online. Nightwing 82 continues this fantastic Tom Taylor arc with Bruno Redondo on art. Great cardstock cover B by Jamal Campbell. I cannot say enough great things about Nightwing. Yes, I did like Dan Jurgens run, but Tom Taylor is absolutely incredible writing Nightwing. And it is showing within the comic book fans too, because a lot of these Nightwing issues are going into later printings. A couple of them that we're going to talk about in just a few minutes at the end of this video. But if you aren't reading Nightwing, definitely pick it up. Tom Taylor, super amazing writer, fantastic. I've said it before, deceased Injustice Suicide Squad. He's currently writing Seven Secrets for Boom Studios, and people are starting to take more and more notice of him. It's not like he came out of nowhere. Tom Taylor's been writing fantastic stories for a good while, and Nightwing is definitely one I'm continuing to pick up. I have a couple other picks I want to talk about this week, but this is more just because I like the cover art on these books. And the first one I want to talk about is Robin number four. It is also hitting FOC again Sunday instead of Monday, but it has a great Francis Manipole cover B variant for this. Love the cover on it. Love the art style. Love the color. A lot of people aren't talking about DC books as much. And I do love this Robin series. Joshua, Joshua Williamson, one of my favorite writers as well. Loved his flash run. You got Gleb Melnikoff doing the art for it. Robin's been a great series, but main reason I have this pick is I do love that Francis Manipole cover. And then from Marvel, there's a lot of Peach Momoko fans. Peach Momoko is doing a lot of the anime covers. 
regular price variants, but one that stuck out to me for this FOC is that Captain Marvel number 30. There's a lot of people that like Peach Momoko's Captain Marvel art. They've been collecting a lot of those issues. Here's one regular price variant for you to pick up, add your collection. If you're collecting Peach Momoko or specifically her Captain Marvel art, this is one cover, super cheap, able to add it to your collection. And then the last cover pick I have is another image comic. Jeff Deckel, another great artist, has been getting a lot of attention lately. Always does great covers, but he's got a great cover B for Deadly Class number 47. Deadly Class, another great series. It had a good show on sci-fi, but comic properties that end up on the sci-fi channel end up in an early grave, it seems. Either way, if you're a Jeff Deckel fan, Deadly Class number 47 is a cover that you want to pick up. And like I just mentioned when we were talking about Nightwing early in this video, we do have some late printings hitting Final Art Cutoff. From Image Comics, we get Radiant Black number 5 getting a second print. From Boom Studios, Eve. Eve is another series you should not sleep on, but Eve number 2 is getting a second print. From Black Mass Studios, they had that series Black that came out a few years ago. They recently had White number 1 come out. And issue number one is hitting a second print, this FOC. And like I mentioned earlier, Nightwing from DC Comics. Issue number 81 is getting a second print. Love the cover on this one. And issue number 79 is getting a third print. So there it is, guys. My picks for comic books that are hitting final order cutoff this coming Monday, Sunday for DC Comics or Scout Comics or anything that is distributed by Lunar Distribution. Make sure you get your orders into your LCS or online, whoever you get them through. Secure yourself a copy. And a lot of times pre-ordering gets you that discount. Please don't forget that. And if you aren't getting a discount, it doesn't hurt to ask, especially from your LCS. Because a lot of times if you're pre-ordering from them, they will offer a discount or a pull box discount. So make sure you check on that. With that being said, guys, this is Brown with Superman's Comics. I'll see you in the next video.